Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome to Boat Crew. This is a game that is currently in early access. It has been for a while, it's actively being worked on, and it is remarkably complex for how simple it looks. Let me show you around. We're gonna go with a new campaign. This takes part in the 1940s, as you might imagine. It's World War II, and you are in control of a PT boat, a torpedo boat. You're there to command the crew, Make sure the boat gets to the objective, completes the objective, and gets back safely. Ideally with all crew members aboard, although that's not always as easy as you might imagine. Now we have a couple of different items, or a couple of different boats. So we've got the 81 prototype, the 80, or the 78. Uh, we're going to go with the big smile that the 78 has. Now this brings us to the crew screen. We're going to have to fill up all these slots. We have these in the bottom, these are people who fix up the boat. We have two medics, we have the, well let's say the helmsman slash captain. This is Ferris Roberts. Two uh, people loading up the guns and two actual gunners. Over on the left you can see who is in reserve, so these people are available. Uh, some of them have stats that line up with, for example, a gunner, such as Daryl over here. He has this little icon that says, I am better at gunning than most other things. They also have their own little perks. Um, this guy is an acrobat. He's particularly quick on his feet, so he can get around the boat pretty quick. He's also drunk. I'm not sure how that's going to affect the campaign, but I guess we're about to find out. Next up, I want to have a fixer. I want to have another gunner. Uh, I want to have another medic. I want to have another fixer. And this is another gunner. There is no gunnery reloader stat. It's basically just a logistics job, so it doesn't specifically need to get done by anyone in particular. And here it is. This is our little PT boat. This PT boat can be now allocated resources. We have all sorts of empty storage locations, but they do sometimes overlap with items on the boat. Weaponry, in particular. Now, the game uses a couple of different resources. Medikits heal up your uh, wounded crew members. Repairs to fix the boat, and ammo to supply ammo to the guns. You can bring a little, or you can bring a lot. But keep in mind, you have a net budget of only 5,400 resource points. So you might be able to bring the really expensive ammo, but if you don't really have the budget to then afford a gun, well, good luck with all the ammo that you're bringing. So I'm going to go with, let's say, a repair kit on the middle deck on the right, and the middle deck on the left, I'll bring some medikits. And we're, well, maybe on... I don't actually need this, thank you very much. Uh, middle deck left, medikit. Uh, front deck left is ammo. Now, when it comes to weaponry, show me the torps, because torpedo boats. We have, however, the option to carry depth charges, because sometimes you'll encounter a submarine. Submarines are annoying little subsurface units, and depth charge is, of course, the only way to deal damage. However... It says there are unconfirmed reports that suggest enterprising captains can also use them against surface targets. So, they do a lot of damage. Um, I have not yet been successful at using these against the surface target. Keep in mind, these things are bloody expensive. 4,000 resource, point, oh, sorry, uh, resource points. The torpedoes, 3,000. So, there goes most of the budget. Um, if you're going to go for something like the Mark 24 torpedoes, these have acoustic guidance. Well, that is 24,000 resource points, so I'm negative 18k. Meaning, uh, torpedoes are a little bit out of the price range, at least for now. Maybe I can bring, like, a couple of Mark 13s for 1,500 points. Unfortunately, they have no acoustic guidance, they're very old, um, but they're also, because of that, fairly cheap. Their damage is 15,000, I'm still not sure if that's a lot or a little, but at least I have some torpedo options. When it comes to guns, we have the utility weapon slot up front for either a mortar, an anti-tank gun, yeah, you can laugh, or an autocannon. Uh, we have the rocket pods, we get the mouse trap, capable of launching anti-submarine weaponry, rocket launchers, more rocket launchers, or modded rocket launchers. The modded ones carrying tw uh, 14 rounds, these guys have only 8, these guys have only 4, so make them count. And then, guns. Lewis gun, 1919, or the M2. They all have their own price tag, and as you can see, the M2 is pretty expensive. It is pretty expensive. 
I'm going to go with a 1919. Um, alternatively, you're just going to get the Lewis gun and you'll have to make do. Let's go with another one of the 1919s. It's a 30 cal. Uh, doesn't necessarily have all the pen, but we'll just have to make it work. Then over on the stern, slash the back of the boat, normally if you have the budget, you can bring something like an Orlikan, a Bofors, two Bofors, or even a meat chopper, which is just a cobbled together set of M2s. I don't really have the budget for that, unfortunately. Although I can, I suppose, ditch the torpedoes and make way for that Ehrlichan, because that might, might give me more options against various targets. Ah, oh, never mind. I'll never, never be able to afford that. Yeah, we're negative. Okay, unfortunate. Uh, torpedoes it is. So, rear torpedo slot, we're going to bring the Mark 8s. Uh, sorry, Mark 13s. And that is the boat. However, we also have crew loadouts. You got the gunners, you got the loaders, the skipper, the uh, XO, the medic, and the repairman. Now, there isn't a whole lot that you can assign them with. I mean, you can change the cap. Uh, it doesn't really do a whole lot. The bucket helmet does provide some armor at no expense. So helmets are more valuable. They also weigh more. So your people will get weighed down. And as they get weighed down, it's going to take them a little bit more time to move around. Binos, I haven't really seen a purpose for. It's not like they're going to give you uh, more visibility. At least not from what I have seen or I have not learned to use them. Now you can also give your people weaponry. Um, you can give them a 1918 bar which I suspect, considering what we're going to be targeting, isn't that useful, but a bazooka might be. Keep in mind, however, a human is a bit fragile, especially when considering that you might be going up against something like a 30 cal, a 50 cal, or even a 127 in the form of a destroyer. Your bazooka, um, as nice as it is, might get wiped out along with the crew member. So while a bazooka for the skipper would probably be pretty funny, I think it is not necessarily a great use of resources. I have been working on equipping all of my people with a couple of vests. Um, they're all going to be carrying armored vests, unless they're a gunner, in which case they're going to be getting more ammo, of course. So this way, the people hopefully survive a little longer um, at the expense of slowness. You do have an armor value, but if the medic needs to run around the boat in order to heal somebody up, they might not be able to. So with the crew in the boat ready, I have the medikits, I have the ammo, Let's make sure that we have on the metal locker some repair kits because this boat is surely not going to make it back intact. We're going into harm's way. Now, we're going to go over to the campaign screen and this is where it all takes place. We have the little blue sectors. The little blue ones are ours. When it comes to all of those red ones, that is Japanese territory. The Japanese are going to be moving around your, well, all sorts of resources. And in order to get more of your resource points and capture territory to some extent, you'll have to take the fight to the enemy. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Over here on the left, you can see we had loadout crew, Collins and squadron. But right now, as I'm sailing away from Tulagi, I don't have access to that anymore because I'm not next to a port. There are no targets at the moment. As for stats, um, I don't exactly have a good victory point ratio income because I'm negative, which is not great. But I do gain resource points, so that is pretty decent. And then we have the guide button, which explains everything. But I'm going to try and do that as much as I can for you. Now, one of the things that we have access to over here is radar. Radar is going to make Savo go holy moly. Uh, that's not good. Somebody's transmitting radar. And while our visibility increases... Uh, Savo is also getting a little ticked off. So let's not do that, and let's just scout out the place. As for a trans, um, this is going to be allowing you to transmit, and you can see that uh, that little radar stunt that we did <laughs> did alert the enemy to some extent. And when the, they are too much alerted, well, let's just say they won't like you very much. They're going to send a sort of kill squadron after you. So let's speed this up. There we go. We have an observation of Savo. Um, I am just one PT boat. I am not that likely to really be able to do much against a base like that all by myself. So let's go to the island you might know from the Pacific, Pavuvu. Oh, hold on. We have something here. We are uh, one Higgins boat. Oh, sorry, we have a Higgins boat. No. 
We are a Higgins boat, my bad. Uh, there is three motor torpedo boats and two sub chasers and one, co sorry, two coastal tankers. Um, that is a lot, but let's see how much I can chew up. Here we go. There's several targets out there in the distance. And um, with spacebar, I can switch to the targeting view. This is going to allow you to lock onto a target and your gunners will target that. Over on the right hand side, you can see I am uh, now idling with my engine. You can go to one thirds, two thirds or uh, full. Or if you hold the W, you're going to go to all ahead flank. But be advised that that does increase the temperature of your engine. Your engine overheats. Um, good luck with that because you might find that your engine your mobility is your greatest survivability asset, so uh, be careful with that. Over on the left we have all the crew members, and when I'm not in targeting view I can just select these crew members and tell them where to go. Uh, for somebody like a gunner it's probably not ideal to have them go away from a position, so let's not. We can see your targets up ahead there in the distance. Um, you can definitely make out those two trailers, uh, trawlers, whatever, the, the supply ships, the tankers. And you can see that there are four pips behind them, slash next to them. Uh, that's their escort. I am not exactly able to take on all the escorts and survive. So I think my best bet is to try and make a run at these guys from the other side. Try and drop torps and then hightail it out of here. Because my odds of making it out alive are not spectacular if I try to engage all those escorts first. So let's make a little bit of time speed up and get to the other side of this group. Oh, there's another one over there. So far I have not been spotted or everybody else would be opening up. When you're doing a mission like this, be very aware about the fact that these transports are not quite as innocent as they seem. They will shoot you and they tend to shoot to kill. They do a lot of damage. You are best trying to get away from these guys if you can. Um, or just sink them as quickly as you possibly can. Now over here we have the... I think those are the sub chasers. And there are the motor boats, the PT boats. There's another one. So the escorts right now, relative for them, are on the wrong side. Now what else do we have down here? Uh, Wildcats, Wildcats, Dauntless and Artillery. These are call-ins, if you will. If you gain points, you can call these in. And with that, for example, you can get a Wildcat in, in order to take down other aircraft in the area. Which might be a Japanese Zero. Um, which is something that you can take down, yes. It is, however, not that easy. Look at those red splashes. We have been made, and the enemy is out to kill us. Yeah, this is not great. Whoa! They're accurate too, look at that. Oh boy. Best not be where they're gonna shoot. So, zigzag time. We do also have another one of these guys coming in. So let the 30s open up. See if I can do some damage against that guy. Before making my way towards these targets. I don't want to overheat the engine too much. So I cannot exactly sail flank speed all the time. Oh, I took it out. It sunk. Perfect. Let's see, uh, do we have any other brave candidates? Or is that it? Oh shit! That hurt like hell. Uh, we're gonna have to fix up not only the people, but also the boat. As you can see, that the right side of the boat is looking a little worse for wear. Now, I do have torpedoes on me, so I can make these work. You can see that I now have targeting arcs, if you will. And with these, I'm going to try and take down the unit in the back. My people are back in ship shape, which is excellent. This is going to get fairly dangerous as the lead time for these shells gets increasingly less. No thank you very much. Uh, yeah, they also have guns. Starboard torpedo away. No, it's not away. I think we lost a crew member here. Uh, more importantly, most of the boat is not quite as intact as I would like it to be. Okay, we're gonna drop both the torps. Uh, hold to release. Torpedo away. Torpedo away, no warheads. That's fine, I have done what I came here to do. My torps are on the way. 
And now we're going to try and fix up the boat. I believe that we did lose one of the crew members, potentially the XO. I don't think that's going to work out. Nope. Sailing past harmlessly. Now you can see that those transports, they're deadly. That was just machine gun fire, but a lot of it. A lot... What? What got you, then? Because I... I took down a coastal tanker, really? Huh. That's nice. That's surprising, actually. I didn't think I would actually take it down. Because it wasn't looking that good. Now, my crew has been very proficient in fixing up the boat. Uh, that crew member that got knocked off the boat is unfortunately not coming home with us. But that is okay, because I did take down a tanker. I got 200 resource points, plus the little bit that I got from sinking the patrol boat. So now I can try and just disengage. And over on the top right-hand side, you can see that little eye icon that says that I am getting detected. But if I just make it out of here, that means I can now leave. So, 200 resource points in the bag. This convoy has been weakened. And if I so choose, I can try and hit them again. I'm not sure exactly where they're going, but it seems like they're going to Savo. Yeah. I'm going to go back to Tulagi to get my boat fixed up and hopefully get another crew member because uh, I am now... Never mind. I think the... Did he make it? I thought he died, really. Fortunately, it seems that fixing up your boat is free. That is really nice. Rearming your boat is also free. So I now have my net budget of 1,200. Something I didn't do is customize the camo. Uh, does this do anything? I think it's purely aesthetic. But yeah, there's the beak. That's the one I wanted. So, confirm loadout. Um, something else you can do over here is get a squadron. If you have enough resource points, you can get another boat. So I can have another Elko 80 join me. This is going to be one that only has 30 cals. You can also get 50 gals, you can get 30 gal, whatever. 50 gals plus bofors is very expensive. And now I have essentially a lot more firepower. Because now I have a second boat. I am potentially going to have to work on the loadout of said boat. But I'm not sure if that's something you can do. Because I can allocate it for my boat. But I'm not sure if you can also do that for the other one. It is active, but beyond that, it doesn't tell me a whole lot. So, we are now Legion. Well, that's a bit optimistic, but at least we have two boats. Now, you can see that this now has a plus 10. This means that that convoy actually made it over there, and as it did, it kind of reinforced the island. So that's something that you want to try and intercept. There are also other events happening, like these little blue lines over here. That means that our allied ships are coming in. Uh, they're going to go to Kira Kira. And they potentially might want to go to Olawa or any of the other bases. Sometimes you can have an allied offensive. And you can support that allied offensive. Which means that you can get quite a lot of resource points. If you survive. And with that, make your boat even better. Make it more dangerous. Make it more deadly. And take on potentially bigger threats. Now what do we have here? We have a coastal tanker, a sub chaser, and three motor torpedo boats. Let's engage. There's my little friend. It's not something I can control. They're just going to go and do their own merry thing, and I hope they don't die. Because I paid pretty decent money for that. So I want to make sure that they do survive. There's the tanker. We're going to have to take out the escorts first this time. Let's go and flank them. And then get ready to take on the tanker with the torpedoes. That's the plan. Some of their escorts look like they're getting a little isolated. So I'm going to try and hunt this guy down. And nail it with the 30 cals. And not only mine, but also the ones from the ally. So that's one. Targeting the next. Take him out, boys. Be quick about it. I don't want to take too much damage here. We got shot in the leg. There goes another one. You can see that the tanker's opening up. There's a third. And I also have to start dodging things. 
I have no idea about the longevity of my ally. But he seems to be giving it them all. So let's hope that that's enough to survive. That thing should be dead. There's one more out there. That might be the sub chaser. Let's take this guy down and then make a run after that tanker. I'm not particularly scared about these single splashes far off to the side. I don't feel like I have to be too worried about those. I do not like the amount of fire that's coming down on me right now. I'm taking a lot of damage here. This is definitely a bigger craft. This is the sub chaser. And my boat is taking a ton of damage. Got him. Okay. Now, I'm going to give my crew a little bit of time to heal up and fix the boat. You can see that they're already working on that. So they're already making sure that I don't have to do too much micro, which I really appreciate because I, for a second, thought, that, oh, this is boat crew. Uh, that is going to be a bit like bomber crew. My god, is that a lot of, micro a lot of uh, management? A lot of management. All right. Let's try not to get too shot up this time. I'm going to keep my engine... Well, not overheated just yet. The boat's almost fixed up. Even though, at some point, you can see through the bow. Which I think is not really supposed to be a feature of this particular boat. But here we are. Mostly fixed up. And we've used up all of our repair parts. So, time to make that run. I have no idea how much I need to lead these. Repeat away, port side. Yikes. That's a lot of crew member loss. I think we did hit it. Coastal tanker is down. But my boat lost about half the crew. And because the XO died, I now no longer <laughs> have anybody driving the boat. Uh, so we're gonna have to reassign a crew member to the helm, and then I can actually maneuver again. Oh, the crew did survive! They're coming back aboard. They just got knocked off. Perfect. The other one also survived. This is excellent. Alright, sir. Um, you, dude. You can go back to your gunnery station. And we're gonna vacuum up a whole bunch of resource points by the looks of it. Can somebody start driving, please? Ferris, shall we? There we go. Not the cleanest attack, but hey, we got it done. Vacuuming up a lot of resource points by the looks of it. I just don't know how many. But let's go back to the main screen, because the supply run, or supply raid, is done. Look at that, free budget, 1200. So I can, if I so choose, now get another boat. I can make my group three. But I think I'd rather increase the guns, so I'm going to have to save up a little more. Now, this is um, boat crew in a hurry. Bly Orleans, let me know if you want to see more about this game. I think it's fun. Um, it is not serious. It is not nearly as easy as you make it out to be. Because keep in mind, you are just a small torpedo boat. You're not something big that can go after a whole base by itself. You're not a destroyer, you're not a cruiser, you're definitely not a battleship. So plan your fights accordingly, fight smart, and make sure that you repair in time. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to Lunga, I'm going to get my repairs, and especially my resupplies, and get on with the missions. Let me know if you want to see more about this game. Uh, link down below to the game in the comments. It's uh, not expensive, so if you like what you see, have a look, and you might want to pick it up. I hope to see your comments down below saying that you like the game or what you would like to see about the game and potentially the dev is going to watch it and we can all have a little bit of influence about how to make the game better. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you soon for more.